Good morning, Cairo. In this vlog, we're embarking on a grand tour of old Cairo to see the ancient wonders of this city. We base ourselves here at the Marriott, a centrally located five-star hotel with delicious Egyptian breakfast. Hello and welcome to the Marriott in Cairo. We have two beds here, very comfortable room. And this used to be the palace then converted to a hotel. We have a, a view of central Cairo here. We have the TV tower. We're very close to the Nile and the pyramids. Here is a look at the bathroom. Pretty basic. Cairo, guys. Call to prayer. The Nile. Oh, right. To the left, second mosque in the world, second mosque in the After world, the one minarets are from Saudi the 7th Arabia. century. In I'm walking around Cairo today and we're going to go tour the mosque and the church. Coptic Christianity makes up 10% of the population here and St. Mark is the one who brought Christianity here to Egypt and they faced persecution under the Romans. This is called the Church of the Virgin Mary. I love the mosaics here. Look at this. It's the Nile and the pyramids. The presidents came here from Mubarak to today. Look at the details. It's incredible. So this is called the Hanging Church because the Nile came right here, so it's built on stilts. like the church. This is so cool. Look at his little backpack. Look at all these old books. These photographs date back to the 19th century. Look at the Sphinx was buried under the sand. The first dam. Look at this. These pictures from the end of the 19th century, before the construction of the first dam. The river came all the way up to the pyramid. Look at that. Wow. This right here is the church where Mary, Joseph, and the Christ child took asylum. Jerusalem, heading, remember by the way, this is all Sinai, yes? This is the Sinai Peninsula, everybody. So they came through the north of Sinai, everywhere. Stop, stop, everyone, look. Wait, there means a church or a monastery, look. Oh, hi. Now going inside a synagogue, Ben Ezra. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. Looking for food. 
Upon entering the synagogue, we get distracted by a very cute kitten. Second synagogue in all of Cairo. So at the beginning of the 20th century, there were 80,000 Jews living in Egypt. Now, only a few dozen. And this is a synagogue from the 9th century. synagogue cat. They say Moses was found in the basket as a baby. Noah came right up here and the scholars say that this is where he was found. And we don't sell it like in the streets like that. Cairo is the largest city in Africa and the Middle East with 22 million people. It's the epicenter of culture and politics. We get a glimpse at the street life here on our way to the impressive mosques. We are headed to a mosque called Muhammad Ali. Look at this. We're in the outer courtyard of the mosque. Just removed our shoes to come into the mosque. And it is incredible in here. Look at the preservation of this mosque. So this mosque, you can go to the top. Look, people are climbing the tower. Be very fit. We have to climb the limits five times a day. Because Muslims, everyone pray five times a day. We have to go up five times. To call the Muslims to come to prayer. Try to give some of them not anymore now. It's microphone everyone. <laughs> they don't need, but it became everyone symbolic, a feature, yes, of any Muslim. So our guide just explained to us some things about the Islam religion. Uh, the word Islam, do you know what it means? It means peace. So in Arabic, when you greet each other, you say Islam, Islam Malikam, which means peace be with you. Hey, nice to meet you. Salam Alaikum. Alaikum Salam. We also learned about the fifth pillar, which is charity. And that means 2.5% of your income goes to the poor. What poor? It goes to your family first, then your relatives, then your neighbors, and then whoever else could be non-Muslims or anyone on the street. And based on that principle, it would eradicate world poverty if practiced correctly. So very interesting religion. I truly love learning about the different world religions and it's so interesting to see a synagogue, a mosque, and a church right here in Egypt. Oh, another thing that we learned is that here in Egypt, the call to prayer is live, whereas in some other countries, it's recorded. Oh my goodness. Hi! Hey. Little Egyptian king. You wanna come with me? I wanna take you home. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, what's 
We're on the roof of this old house. It's an old Islamic house. And you can see it's all open in the center. And then over here, there's this woodwork. These windows you can see right through. Look at this woodwork. Look at this. Right next to the mosque is a beautiful old Egyptian home. We're greeted with Egyptian hospitality and served delicious golden lentil soup. The 360 degree views from the rooftop are spectacular. We're here on the rooftop just in time for the afternoon call to prayer. Call to prayer is live here in Egypt. It is not recorded. We are listening to the afternoon call to prayer here in Egypt. So beautiful here. They filmed the James Bond Spy Who Loved Me from up here. The interior of the home is lavishly decorated with artwork and tiles. This is sacred. Secret passage. Okay. Right next to it, Al Rifai dates back to 1902. Look at the domes. This is beautiful, everyone. The, the city of the dead. You can say, What city of the dead are you talking about, Omar? This is the new city of the dead. Look at the view now. Look. Look at the view now to your left hand side. A lot of the Egyptian filmmakers come to shoot here every Monday. This one is over 1100 years old. From our bus ride, we get a glimpse at just how modern and ancient Cairo is at the same time. We hope that you enjoyed this tour of Cairo. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe because coming up next, we're embarking on an epic journey throughout ancient Egypt. You won't want to miss it.